This was the scene in Kulak last night as another fire broke out at the former Crown Paints factory, the second in as many days. Earlier in the evening, large crowds gathered at the site, earmarked to house asylum seekers in what Gardaí say was a peaceful demonstration. However, the situation escalated, a number of scuffles broke out and the public order unit was deployed. Gardaí say they were subjected to verbal and physical abuse, including rocks, concrete bricks and other objects thrown at them and were forced to use pepper spray and batons. Three Gardaí were injured, one was taken to hospital after a rock was thrown at his face. The Gardaí Representative Association today warning that frontline Gardaí aren't fully equipped to deal with such incidents and says it's still seeking a meeting with the Commissioner in relation to the violence in Kulak last Monday night. The security man that was injured was being dealt with by ambulance personnel who were wearing hard hats. Dublin Fire Brigade were present on site wearing hard hats, yet the men and women of Angarda Shikana that I represent were sent out on the front line there with soft hats, with rocks, missiles, fireworks raining down them, raining down on top of their heads with no hard hats. And it's incredulous. In a statement, the Justice Minister condemned the violence, saying those who attack Gardaí can face up to 12 years in jail. Helen McEntee says a small minority of individuals are inciting violence and fear to divide communities which cannot be tolerated, warning those who engage in criminal acts will be brought to justice. The Sinn Féin leader Mary Lou Macdonald says she's met with some local residents and has written to the Taoiseach calling on the government to engage with the community, which she says feels neglected and forgotten. But certainly I don't feel protests uh, are, are what we need at this time because they, they attract people who are there, I think, sometimes to, to cause trouble. Uh, and some of the rhetoric that's being used is really quite violent, it's really quite disturbing, it's incredibly racist. And I would appeal to those uh, who have been protesting at the site to stop. Gardaí say a man in his 20s arrested last night has now been released without charge and investigations are ongoing. Paul Quinn, Virgin Media News.